Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and I make and sell scrunchies, macrame items, home decor, a whole bunch of goodies like that. And in today's video, I'm just going to be doing little bits of small business stuff here and there. If you didn't catch last week's video, I do actually start a new job on Monday. It's currently Tuesday. So this is my last week in the job that I'm currently in. So I'm just focusing on that, chilling out, taking it easy. <laughs> so I hadn't really planned on vlogging this week, but at the same time, there is a few little exciting things that I'm working on that I did want to share with you it might only be a short video also i thought oh i was very wrong i'm currently editing four hours worth of footage so <laughs> enjoy but i do also have the whole weekend where i don't think i've got any plans so i can spend a bit of time doing some small business stuff which is really exciting but anyway yesterday i got a couple of orders and i received the sweetest message in regards to one of the orders so first of all Gemma and julia if you have ordered thank you so much i will be packing your orders i'm pretty sure julia has ordered from me in the past and she's popped another order in and left a really kind message saying that these are for my granddaughter's birthday can you put her name on the card please and she loved that i got my name on the card when i placed my first order it's kiana i hope i'm pronouncing that right correct me if i'm wrong she'll be 11 this birthday and if you could do that for me please also just say i'm loving the youtube content and you're doing great julia thank you so much i love receiving messages like that and hearing from customers and anyone who watches the channel or anything like that it just makes it so worthwhile doing this so kiana happy birthday i'm hoping that i'm not spoiling the surprise because by the time this video goes up it'll be a few weeks or even a couple of months away so i really hope i am not ruining your birthday surprise but i really hope you love your scrunchies and julia thank you so much for ordering them so of course i can do that i just need to remember to not write julia so i will package them up in a second but i'm quite excited but also extremely nervous and scared <laughs> but last year in the midst of the chaos of buying a house moving twice adopting cleo loads of different things i hosted my own market i did vlog it i will leave the vlog at link down below and i wanted to see how it went and if it went quite well and if I really enjoyed it the aim was to start that up as like another little business where I host my own little markets and it's called the creative makers market again I'll leave all the information and social media link down below but as of Friday my main focus is going to be the small business and the plan was to also get the creative makers market up and going again and that's really scary but also really exciting and I did hear back from one of the venues that I've reached out to and they've given me like a price breakdown and basically confirmed that it is something that could go ahead so I've replied asking if I could possibly go to the venue and look at it in person. There's lots of photos online, but sometimes you just need to see in person what space you're working with, if it is actually going to work, if the location's great, things like that. So if you're in the Lincolnshire area, because hopefully by the time this video goes live, I would have already sent the booking forms out and stuff. Hopefully if all goes well, the next Creative Makers Market is going to be in Spalding in Lincolnshire. So if you are in the area, if I'm still taking bookings, I'll leave that all linked down below. And I know it's not 100% for a rose related, but it is me as a creator and small business related so i wanted to share that with you so let's get these orders packaged up and then i am gonna have to go to work <laughs> Gemma has ordered a sage wristlet one of the gray macrame lanyards which is this gorgeous like neutrally gray beige color and then she's got the juniper scrunchie the mini then the lauren scrunchie mini and then the audrey scrunchie mini and then julia has ordered for kiana the miley collection so we got the miley wristlet two of the miley minis and the miley xl So it's my last day of work today, which is 
kind of scary. <laughs> I finally got the vlog that I've been editing up and ready to go. For some reason, I've just had so many issues with it. But it didn't go up on Wednesday. It's now Friday and hopefully it'll go up this afternoon. But annoyingly enough, <laughs> I'm going to be at work when my video goes live. I know I could set it to a bit later. But this time has always worked for me. As in, people seem to see it more at this time. And I want to be able to leave a comment on it. Because I'm quite, like, nervous about that one. Because it's got a clip of me just bawling my eyes out over the smallest thing. <laughs> so I'm a bit like, oh, I don't really know how I feel about it because I don't really talk about mental health that much in terms of my own. So it was a bit of a vulnerable moment and I decided to keep it in because I want to be completely transparent. But anyway, it's nearly 10 o'clock and I'm going to be leaving shortly because there's a few things I need to do before I go to work. But I've just been making a little list of some items I want to make or restock and some things I need to do or want to do before next week's market. I think I'm at the bone farmers market again next week yeah so on father's day it's a born farmers market which means there's a very high chance it's going to be quiet because the mother's day one was really quiet either way i like that market so i'm still gonna go so far i've got on there that i need to stamp some more bags i need to order some more of those paper bags then i've put i need to order some more of the paper food bags which are these ones i've only got these left and this is what i use for my mystery packs my mystery scrunchies i'm running very low on those already i made maybe like 50 something and i think i've only got about 30 13 left. I've got on there I need to clean my tablecloths but then this is a list of things that I want to make. I have ordered some new fabric. It's a new satin and it's the hot pink like a fuchsia colour and this is going to be named Holly after my sister. It's the colour she wanted. She wanted like a Barbie colour but the plan was to bring that colour in around summertime because it's such a like bright well Barbie pink. Perfect timing because the new Barbie movie is either out or it's coming out. Then I need to make a few lanyards. I'm just looking at the list. So I need to make a black olive sage salmon and greyish one. I want to make some dahlia wristlets, dahlia scrunchies and excels, a greyish wristlet, red wristlet, olive wristlets, two sage wristlets, two teal wristlets in the macrame wristlet and 20 mystery packs. I've just gone into the big box of fabric. So these are some of the fabrics I'm going to be cutting up and trying to turn into mystery scrunchies and I think that's probably it for chatting because I've just chatted quite a lot there. <laughs> Hello guys. I really like my outfit, but this was a lot of effort today. I got back from work, obviously it was my last shift at that job, and I was exhausted. I was very, very tired. I think everything just sort of hit me, and I was like, oh. I didn't film anything, but then I realised I had two orders, which I'm so grateful for. The one was from Natalie, so thank you so much, Natalie. She has ordered multiple times, which I, again, I'm, I'm so grateful for. It means the world to me when anyone orders, let alone when people put multiple ones in. It, yeah, blows my mind. And then someone called Kirsten ordered as well, so thank you guys so much. I did package them up, and I try and film every order that I package, but sometimes I'm either in a rush or I can't film in things. And then last night, I lost my phone. I've got, I found it. It was in the house, but I put it somewhere and then it died so I'm sorry if I haven't filmed your order but I did force myself to package them up last night because I was so ready to just hit the hay and go to bed but if I did leave them it meant they wouldn't have been able to have been shipped until Monday but I knew I had a parcel coming today so I thought you know what let's just get them shipped and that way I can book a collection so they can be collected at the same time but I woke up today feeling 
very rough but i got up forced myself to get ready did my makeup put on this dress but anyway i've got a couple of parcels to show you i got these two parcels arrived but on a different note i don't know if i've said in this vlog one of my reels on instagram did quite well for me anyway it did quite well but then time had passed and then over the last couple of days it started getting loads of views again because of that i was getting loads of followers so i had maybe 600 followers on instagram but i noticed i was getting a bunch of likes on this reel the one where i'm making wristlets and it's got like the spongebob audio over the top where it's like six thousand years later and it's currently got 33.1 thousand views which i know to a lot of people is like nothing it's not viral but to me it's viral <laughs> and it's growing and growing and i posted something saying oh i've noticed that this reel's getting a lot of traction it would be very very cool if i could potentially hit a thousand followers by Sunday thinking it's probably not going to happen but at the rate I was getting followers I was like it might do you never know yeah I hit it and I'm already on 1144 and it is still growing which is really good however I'm pretty sure half of those accounts are probably spam accounts because it's Instagram but either way oh my paper bags these are for the mystery bags this should be the new satin fabric it is oh I just cut into the fabric that's annoying Oh, I've just done it again. Okay, I'm going to start with the scissors. I asked my sister a long time ago what colour she wanted to be. She said bright pink. Oh, as if I've just cut into it. That's so frustrating. And then finally, I've got this big box here. A box full of paper bags. I just need to stamp my logo on them. I'm glad they've sent it in a box like this because I can reuse this box again. Imagine if I get orders that big one day where I'm going to require boxes like this big. I'm probably going to go chill for a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Honestly, one more thing. I had to nip to B&M and I get a lot of my like stackable storage stuff from B&M. But these ones are new. I've not seen these ones yet, so I had to pick some up. But they've got these ones now, which are stackable. And then they have drawing sets, which are great. If I had a bunch of money, I would have gone and bought a load of these. I'm not made of money, so I just bought the four for now. But they were 3p. 3p? I wish they were 3p. £3 each. Can you tell I'm like struggling? <laughs> stop in a second ignore the mess behind me i've just received a paypal notification saying that i've just received oh god it is an order oh. over 200 pounds from paypal is this like a scam like oh <laughs> oh my god someone's put a 200 pound order in on my website that can't be real. Someone called Catherine has ordered two Juniper XLs, a Juniper Mini, a Pumpkin XL, a Pumpkin Mini, a Halley Mini, an Olive XL, an Olive Mini, Amber XL, Amber Mini, Nova XL, Nova Mini, Daphne XL, Daphne Mini, Alicia XL, which is the last one, Alicia Mini, Miss Daisy Mini Scrunchie, Dahlia XL Scrunchie, I think that's the last one because I don't have any minis either at the minute, a Mia XL and a Mia Mini, a Belle XL and a Belle Mini, an Alicia Wristlet, two Clover Scrunchies, a Stella XL, a Stella Mini, a Primrose XL, a Primrose Mini, and three limited edition Kale Scrunchies. Oh my god. I think I need a minute. I kind of don't believe it. I'm kind of like, now this has got to be a scam. Well, I was just saying I might need a box for some bigger orders. It's only charged £18.99 shipping, which is a lot of money, I understand that, but that's going to cost me about £35 to send that. I, I, kind, I kind of don't know what to say. I'm very much so shocked. If your name is Catherine and you're from America and you've just put in an absolute monster order on my website, oh, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my word, it baffles me that 
people want to like buy the things that I make and every order makes like oh seeing orders like this obviously it does not matter what size the order is that I don't want anyone to think that I'm not grateful for smaller orders bigger orders things like that but obviously I've just left my job to do this <laughs> which means obviously I'm following my passion and my career goals and my dream and things but at the same time it is the aim to be a business and I need to be able to live off that business so something like that is oh my god that is insane Catherine thank you so so much please don't be a scam please let this be real I need to tell Alex <laughs> So I'm just getting it all ready because this is the box I think I'm going to send it in. I'm just recycling one. So we've got the Juniper XL and the Juniper Mini. Pumpkin XL, Pumpkin Mini, Halley Mini. Oh, good job I checked. There should be two Juniper XLs. Let's start again. <laughs> two Juniper XLs, Juniper Mini, Pumpkin XL, Pumpkin Mini, Halley Mini. Olive XL, Olive Mini, Amber XL, Amber Mini, Nova XL, Nova Mini. It's not all going to fit in one crate. The Daphne XL and the Daphne Mini. Alicia XL and the Alicia Mini. Miss Daisy Mini, Dahlia XL, Mia XL, Mia Mini, Belle XL, Belle Mini. The Alicia wristlet, they're currently on sale. I've got a few of them on sale. Two Clover scrunchies. Stella XL, Stella Mini, Primrose XL, Primrose Mini. And then three of the limited edition Kayla scrunchies. Wow. <laughs> oh my word. I um, I can't believe this. I'm going to throw in one of these scrunchies as well because she's ordered so much. Hopefully she'll like it. I'm not going to show you the front because I've got her address and obviously my address is on it because it's got the customs form on it. I think I figured out how to do it myself. I did wrap the box in a poly mailer. These are recycle as it says on the back. Just because I'd rather add that extra layer of potential waterproofing to it. So I hope this gets to Catherine safely. It's been collected on Monday, which is really exciting. Anything that I think is too good to be true, I'm like, oh, it's a scam or something's gonna go wrong. I just overanalyze everything. Catherine, if you are out there and you are a real person <laughs> and you have ordered this, thank you so much. Like, I'm hugging it because I'm like, oh. But after all that adrenaline rush, I'm getting a banging headache, so I'm probably gonna stop filming today because it's also about 30 degrees here in the UK and the heat makes me very poorly, so I'm gonna go chill. But Catherine, thank you again, you legend. Hello guys, so it's 25 to four on Sunday, so I've obviously not really filmed anything. I'm still not feeling 100%, but that is completely okay. I'm exporting a video for my personal channel over there but someone called Bethany has ordered from me which is so exciting so thank you so much Bethany I'm so grateful so I do need to package this up she's gone for one of the mystery bags one of the mystery scrunchies good job I'm making some more because we're running very low the last Stella mini scrunchie which looks like this it's so cute I did order some more fabric last night because I've only got one XL left in this pattern they've been quite popular which is good and then one Dahlia wristlet I there's only one left of this one as well. So this is the Dahlia print one. Thank you so much, Bethany. I will be packaging that up in a second. And this will also get collected on Monday. But apart from that, all I'm really gonna do today is probably pop on my headphones, cut up a bunch of fabric, just take it easy, and we'll see what I get done.
wow she looks delightful <laughs> i have no eyebrows on nothing no makeup my hair's soaking wet because i'm letting it air dry so please ignore the state of me <laughs> but it is my first week being fully well not fully but sort of self-employed obviously i do have this new job that i'm supposed to be starting later on today but this is now my main focus so i've had quite a nice chilled morning it's so hot again which i'm not a fan of i've just been doing some editing and then i've just given myself and my postman an absolute heart attack some elastic has arrived this is the good stuff but i'm going to carry on editing for a little bit and then i'm going to do some sewing in a short while here's a bunch of the tubes that i sewed up and i don't know if you would have been able to tell from the time lapse but part way through i was like oh are you kidding me i just sort of went into autopilot and i started sewing in labels these are not supposed to have labels in and the way i keep the cost down is little things like not including the labels and things like that but i annoyingly enough added labels to all these so it was either i sit and unpick all the work that i did re-sew them up without the labels or just carry on and suck it up and it'd be fine so even though it says on the packaging that these scrunchies don't contain the labels some of you might get ones with labels in That super glue has left such a mess on my table. It looks so dirty. Obviously all the fibers are from when I was sewing, but this looks awful. But how cute is this size? It was just a little bit too short for the size I usually go for. So I thought, oh screw it, I could still turn it into a scrunchie. It's so cute. I really like this size. But anyway, I've got three of this one. They're all finished up, which is a really cute star print one. Then I've got, sorry, the lighting's not really good on these, but this is like a really deep purple colour. If I hold it up, it's a bit of a better look there. And then I've got like two of this multicoloured foily one. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen more mystery scrunchies made up. I obviously just need to pop them in their little bags now. These are so cute. <laughs> Look at them. I love these. nine i'm sorry i didn't film anything yesterday i sort of just ended where i was i did a few little bits here and there and then before i knew it i had to go and drop a vintage parcel off and go to my new job <laughs> fingers crossed if it goes how i'm hoping it's gonna go it's gonna work really well i didn't leave work wanting to cry i wasn't stressed it was just oh, okay 
cool, let's go home. So hopefully that will work really well. Just as like a little side job, a bit of reliable income. But I am actually about to head to the venue I was talking about. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in this video. Alex and I hosted a market last year and it is something that I wanna start doing again. I'll leave all the information down below. But we're hopefully gonna be doing it again in August. I need to be leaving in like 10 minutes. But you would have seen that last night I packaged up Kate's order. So thank you so much, Kate. It means the absolute world to me. So this is due to be collected today. I'm not gonna take my camera, but I'll take my phone and I'll see if I can get some clips off the haul. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hello everyone. I'm so sorry for the really awkward angle. I'm currently just in our bedroom because unfortunately, well it's not unfortunate but it is for me. Next door seems to be having some work done. The builders are working by my office and they're blasting music really loud. Obviously I don't want to get copyright strikes on my account and they are drilling, they're playing music. It is quite loud so I'm not going to be able to get any clips with sound. Sorry. <laughs> Gosh, dude. <laughs> So I thought I'd just quickly jump in and say I did go to the venue. I am very happy with it. It is a really good size. I'm really, really hoping that I can turn this into a good event. And I've spent the last few hours basically just making the leaflets, the booking form, loads of things like that. And then I've started posting it on things and instant nerves and anxiety. Like I really hope people apply. I really hope it turns into a really good event. Enjoy these next few time lapses. just got home from work and I am a bit stressed, a bit gutted, not job related. I've started posting about the Creative Makers Market and annoyingly enough, obviously after I posted that, I've just seen on Facebook there is a Spalding Feet on the same day in the building right next door to ours. So I am stressed <laughs> and I've just checked and I've only had four people apply. The person that is hosting this event is the person that runs the entire Spalding Flower Parade which is a massive event. Like it gets coverage on the BBC, everything like that, it's huge. I mean it could work in our favour in the sense that the parking for the gardens is where the building that I'm hosting mine is, is. People park there and walk over. No one's going to apply for mine now are they? I don't really know what to do now. Mm. People are going to reply for that, aren't they? They're not going to reply for this. Hello, guys. So it's the next day. It's Wednesday the 14th. Uh and I've got up and I had to take Cleo to the vet she's okay it's just for a checkup very expensive checkup but yeah she's all good and I'm still stressing over this event situation but it can't be helped so either I just give up and don't do it or I try my best to get it to work I've had a few people apply but I need like 10 times the the amount of people that have applied to apply I know it has only just gone out there but yeah, I am concerned that I'm not going to get any people applying, so we'll see, because I obviously have to email the venue. I just really hope that I do get people booking on. I did sew up some scrunchies. When did I do this? Last night, I believe. Finishing stitch isn't done, but they're proper, like, hot pink Barbie, so there's the mini. And here is the XL. So I'm going to sew up a few more of those today. And I need to send a set off to my sister, Holly, who they're named after.
bottles arrive. So I'm just going to quickly open them because I'm pretty sure it's fabric. I'm not sure what this one is though. Oh, these, yeah, these are the earrings I bought. Hopefully this is the fabric. <laughs> so we've got the Stella fabric and hopefully this is the clover. Amazing the clover fabric because I'm out of scrunchies. So I haven't filmed much but I did crack on with some work yesterday, last night and then today. Pre-caught a bunch of macrame and I started making some of the wristlets. Annoyingly enough I realised I didn't have any more lobster clasps so I've had to order some more. But the rest is all pre-cut there ready to go. And I don't know if you can see there but I finished all of the holly scrunchies. I did all of the dahlia scrunchies and then I made three wristlets in the dahlia print. They still need finishing off and I've just been editing and stuff and getting a video sorted but I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I actually ordered some business cards for the creative makers market because I've got an event this Sunday and there might be a couple of people there I'd want to give them out to just to help spread the word for it and I paid for express to make sure I'd get them today and DPD just haven't delivered them. <laughs> everything's right with the DPD information. They've gone to a completely different house. I wouldn't mind, but every house in this area has a name apart from ours. It's the smallest that has a number. It has a name as well, but it has a number. And there is only about four houses on this road. I'm currently waiting to chat to somebody about it. Sorry, that was a really ranty first world problem. Hi Megan, how can I help with your print pasta? It didn't come. 